the Android world seems to be constantly changing. And it doesn't only seem to be constantly changing, it is constantly changing. And no week passes without us hearing about new changes. New Android versions, first developer preview, beta, stable versions, Android Studio updates, new Canary version, new permissions, new deprecations, new libraries, new frameworks, new technologies. How do you even see through this jungle of changes? The short answer is you don't have to. Look, it's very likely you're working in a company or plan to work in a company where things aren't changing as quickly. Because every migration to a new library or new technology costs time and money while not bringing any noticeable gain for the users. That's the real world. In companies, you won't be sitting there and updating all the libraries to the new alpha releases all day. No, you will work with established libraries with established technologies for as long as you can until a change really has an impact on your users or developers' experience. To some degree, you just have to research what's out there, what's new, which changes are coming. Because if you're still using, let's say, async task over coroutines, then I'm sorry, you're doing something wrong. And if you still think that Jetpack Compose won't be the future of native Android UIs, then I'm sorry. So to some degree, you just have to learn these new technologies and libraries. But you need to find the sweet spot between diving into new technologies the moment they go alpha and completely ignoring what's happening out there. And yet to me, it seems that most Android developers out there are too busy and too lost in just chasing all those new shiniest libraries and technologies while missing out on what really counts. I am saying it over and over again, but focus on the essentials. And this topic, by the way, I will also cover on my free live workshop on April 27th where I will just share what those essentials are and go into detail in these. There are still a few spots available, uh, so you can register for free down below, but I also want to say something about this here. These essentials that I always mention here are not only the core of Android development, but the core of whole software development. And they never change, or at least only super slowly over decades. And that is what you need to focus on. Now we can group these essentials into two categories. On the one hand, more general software engineering essentials. So how you structure software in order to make it easy to work on it. And we have those technical essentials. So specific technical topics and concepts you just need across the whole field of software development. And to just give you an example of both, let's start with a software engineering essential, which is modular design. So just a way to have a modular code base with as little intertwined dependencies as possible, or as little spaghetti code as possible in other words words, this is a concept that exists in every field of software development. And it will never change. It will always be good to structure your software in a modular way. Or to also give you an example on a technical essential. Let's talk about databases. If you truly understand how databases work, then nobody can take this experience away from you. And this is the experience that applies to so many fields out there. So you need databases on Android, you need it for iOS, you need it for cross-platform, you need it for backend development, you need it for data science, you need it for desktop applications. And not only do you need these generally on these platforms, no, Almost every single software also needs databases. I mean, name any industry scale app that does not rely in some way on a database. There are of course a few, but really not that many. And there are just a lot more of these essentials, which again, I will go over in my workshop in detail, but they all have one thing in common. You can't just learn these by reading through a blog or just a few docs. You can learn the surface of them by reading through some content, but you will only truly understand them when applying them in real practice, in a real practical project. And that is also why mastering these is so valuable. So this should be your focus. Focus on the foundation of every single piece of software. Focus on the essentials. And then your role as a software developer will remain pretty safe in future. Since even if, and I don't believe that is happening, but even if native Android might not be so popular anymore in some time, in some distant future, then you will still already have the foundation of what you need in any other field of software development. And the switch to another field won't take long. So again, if you want to learn what all those essentials are in detail and how they work, register for my live workshop. It's free, it's interactive. I will go over your questions at the end and we can just have a cool little session and chat. Link is in bio and other than that, thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you back on Saturday, hopefully in this workshop. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye-bye.